and storm track weather with meteorologist Blaze Keller. All right, we started out in the 60s on this Saturday, topped out in the 90s in some spots early this afternoon. And since then, we've been kind of hovering in those mid 80s in the Madison area. Some spots still up there right around 90 degrees. Beautiful day, a little bit of cloud cover kind of moving in out of the out of the east, which is a little bit different than normally where the clouds come in from. But we're watching as a very weak cold front has slid its way into eastern parts of Wisconsin. It's 82 in Juno, 89 in Baraboo, still holding on to 90 in Lone Rock, close in Bosco Bell, Prairie du Chien, as well as Mineral Point, Platteville, and Janesville. Not to mention Camp Douglas, we're at 88 or 89. A little bit of shower activity trying to get going here, but Again, we have just been so dry that even though there is a little bit of moisture in the atmosphere, it can't reach the surface because it just essentially evaporates before it hits the ground, which is very uh, upsetting because we do need the rain. Our drought monitor has changed. Less than a percent of Wisconsin was dry about two weeks ago, and now roughly 66% of the state is in need of some water. Not in any moderate or even severe drought conditions, but still, we need the rain. Right now it's falling to our north, and we also find a lot more moisture off into parts of Kansas as well as Nebraska. It's on the edge of a high pressure system, and I'll talk about kind of how the jet stream setup is keeping a lot of that rain off to our west here in just a minute. We just saw them, but again, temperatures low, mid, upper 80s to low 90s. Winds are light now the northeast, so we are going to start to cool on down as we head into the rest of this evening and then stay a little bit on the cooler side for your Sunday as well. But we'll still climb into those 80s, but it might be a little bit harder to get out some of those 90s. And if you've been outside and you're sensitive to maybe some poor air quality, just know that we're continuing to sit underneath that moderate air quality right now, but hopefully that will change as we go into not only your Sunday, but in the coming days as well, starting to get a little bit more activity in the extended forecast, and we'll track that out here in just a moment. But you can see a lot of those lightning strikes have kind of died on down, so those thunderstorms to our north in Wausau and even further north are starting to lose their oomph as we're beginning to see that sun maybe kind of uh, beginning to set on the horizon. Let's walk through future track into the rest of this evening into your Sunday morning. Quiet, mostly clear to partly cloudy overnight. Starting off your Sunday on the quiet side, and that's pretty much how it's going to stay throughout the rest of the day. But let's walk ahead into Monday. Starting out with more cloud cover, we're watching a cold front move its way southwards. I don't think we're going to see any rain, though, from that cold front until we go, I would say, Monday late afternoon overnight into early Tuesday. This is probably going to be our best chance for rain over the next seven days. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that we at least get a decent amount out of that. We're looking at a medium high threat for pollen tomorrow and with the dry air, it's certainly not going to help. But if you want to venture outside again, light winds, it's going to be perfect to hit the green. Those winds will be out of the east at about five to 10 miles per hour. We're looking at the 60s tonight, another quiet evening. So this is our setup. Notice that big H. That's a high pressure system and winds turn clockwise around it. These are coming out of Canada and it's essentially keeping that jet stream well off to our north. And that's the reason why we've not only been more comfortable in terms of uh, dew points and our winds have been light, but it's also pushing all those systems off into Canada as well. So hopefully we can get some things to break up uh, this kind of high pressure system, but at least for now we're eyeing that Monday into Tuesday and then maybe again next Friday into Saturday. We cool down into the 70s starting Tuesday. That is good news for me. I was not a fan of the very, of the very heat. hot weather. No, yeah, <laughs> it's rough. Uh, thankfully, though, we got a little bit of the heat, not so much of the humidity. So we are going to be cooling down even more, so it'll feel comfortable still. All right. Thanks so much, Blaze. Well, state tournament time is here for high school sports. Luke Gamble has you covered on what's happening on the track.